All right, so Steve Ewan's got a piece out right now talking about how hockey players pick their numbers. So I want to know, how do you guys pick your numbers? If you were on a sports team, maybe you were on a sports team as a kid, what went into picking that number? Well, I, I think for most people, it's probably that first player that registered with you when you first became a sports mm -hmm. fan. And for me, and I hate to date myself again, but it was San Francisco Giants first baseman Willie McCovey. Uh, uh, who wore number 44, and he was the coolest cat in Major League Baseball. He had tape measure home runs, he had this swagger about him, and I formed this instant identification with him. And then after Willie McCovey came Leroy Kelly, who also wore 44, and he was the running back who succeeded Jim Brown with the Cleveland Browns. So yeah. that was it. I was I've been stuck on 44 ever since. Were they Roman numerals? Or <laughs> like actual, the coolest cat in baseball. I was just thinking coolest cat. I was like, I'm yeah. not gonna make fun of him for it. Well, I'll anything. make fun of him. It's easy to do. It is a very personal thing, though. And I know even having kids involved in sports, it is usually a player mm -hmm. that you identify with. But you think of iconic numbers, you know. When I think of 44, I think of Todd Bertuzzi when it comes to hockey, strangely enough. but, but I was you know, already yes, no, stuck with you do with have it, yeah. these, uh, as when you go back to classic hockey numbers, you know, number nine is yeah. that big center. Yeah. That's obviously was Gordie Howe. And that's where Wayne Gretzky got his inspiration for 99, which became his, obviously, his unique number. Mm -hmm. But overall, you have, you know, number four is Bobby Orr. That's a defenseman's number. Um, some sports really lend themselves to that. Soccer, the numbers used to be by position. Mm -hmm. You couldn't be a striker and be number two mm -hmm. because that was one of the outside defenders. So I think the position that you play and the players you identify with are there, but then you weave in a ton of, mm -hmm. you know, superstition and what do I like, and then God forbid you have two players on the same team who want the same number, you actually have to eliminate that, or, you know, money yeah, well, changes yeah, yeah. hands, but but ultimately it's kind of fun to go through and, and see, it's frivolous, but to see the story behind players choosing their number and why it means a lot to them. Uh, I little, never played. Little known, little known fact there, Naomi, that you, same in baseball, they used to, numbers yeah. by position, sorry. Uh, I never played a lot of sports when I was a kid, but when I was 13, first year of high school, I was I made it on the volleyball team because they let everybody on the volleyball team that year, um, and we didn't actually like have numbers or anything, but we had team shirts with um, our school name on the back and a picture of a volleyball. Go Strikers! Um, and I took t-shirt chalk and I wrote the number 13 on the front, um, mostly because I was 13 and because I was this annoying little kid that wanted to prove to everybody that there's nothing awesome. superstitious about 13. Um, but I definitely was not the best player ever at all in the history of McRoberts Strikers, and I did not make the team the following year, so maybe it was a little bit superstitious, but that was my thought process. Well, well that's like the little known Stephanie yeah. athletic story. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's a slow athletic. news day. I can turn that into a column, I think. <laughs> for, for, any, uh, for any kid, though, the moment you get your first jersey with your name on the Absolutely. back, that, yeah. is, that is gold. Like, you feel like you're big time then when you get your name on the back, but... Um, if I look at if I look at sports numbers and what they, it's so funny how some players it doesn't mean much, and you you certainly have in Canucks history. Like, mm -hmm. do you we, did we ever find out why Pavel Burry went from ten to ninety six? Ed, you were closer to the no, story. No, no, I wasn't. So, uh, it predated my my actually yeah, uh, my so, return you know, here. So you mentioned number thirteen. There's Matt Sundin, another great name in Canucks yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. You know, shies <laughs> away from that. But I, you know, I think it's cool. I think it's. Uh, Jersey sales are a big part of it these days, mm -hmm. big part of revenue. I, I love the association when there's a real story behind it. While we've opened up this topic, there has to be a moratorium placed on all hockey numbers over 40. I am so tired of looking at looking at the rosters and saying, oh, look, who's wearing number 56 today? That's a linebacker's number. It's not a hockey player's number. Sorry, get off my lawn. 